label something that conveyed a message. And it is so good to see you all here in Vienna. But anyway, I should like to shout out three groups of you. First, from so far away, and for the first time, I believe, our friends from the Okuyama Broadcasting Corporation in Japan and their friends. Tags or your names, like exactly like these ones here, in your bags. Remember, please place them down when you're sitting at your particular seat. So it is important that we have TV programs also for deaf persons in sign language. Now we will hear from this from Yoshido. Good morning, everyone. I'm Yoshio Shiroda, a newscaster of Okayama Broadcasting Corporation, or OHK for short, a local TV station in Japan. We have been using sign language broadcasting for about 30 years in order to realize a society in which no one is left behind by lack of information. Today, I'd like to explain our Okayama model which we have constructed to popularize sign language and realize societies with zero barriers throughout the world. Please watch this video. We launched the TV program on sign language called Sign Language Talks Welfare in 1993. We wonder if it would be possible to broadcast our interviews with deaf people. Since then, the newscasters in your company have continued to learn sign language. We have also aired about 310 minutes feature segment created deaf people concerning disability in your news programs. The program carries superimposed sign language interpretations, which are provided by the deaf members of our production team. We have thus promoted different efforts, not only as a broadcaster, but also as users. One of these efforts was our innovative major campaign named Sign Language is a Language Campaign. We used this campaign last year as part of the United Nations International Day of Sign Language. This campaign comprised four parts, a news program, a special TV program, a special commercial message, and webcasting. By making the circumstances and society that uses sign language routinely, the deaf can access information more easily. These enterprising and innovative efforts are based on our strong belief in a world with zero barriers. I'd like to bring your attention to this picture. This is our TV studio, which is named Mirun. The name means to see and to be seen in Japanese. This studio is in the middle of a large shopping complex in Okayama. Don't you think this situation literally means zero barriers? Sign language is also incorporated into our program, Nanshon and Kusukusu. We have been trying to represent the possibility of sign language as a language with sign language talks welfare. The program carries superimposed sign language interpretations, which are provided by the deaf members of our production team. And this is the first feature of our Okayama model. We have an organization named OHK Sign Language Broadcasting Committee. The committee consists of the deaf, sign language interpreters, and broadcasters. 
It's our mission to convey information promptly and accurately. Unlike as a media like newspapers, we are media whose programs can be watched normally only once. So we have created many expressions that can be used easily on TV. These kinds of committee can help TV stations improve their sign language broadcasting. Looking now at the second feature of Okayama model. As I'm sure you know, the production costs of sign language broadcasting are high. So I came up with the following idea. We displayed the name of companies which sponsor our sign language broadcasting by incorporating sponsorship into the circle of economic activities. We can make it sustainable. More importantly, using sign language on TV will show everybody that they are here. They have rights and they have own language. This attitude symbolized our belief that we will never leave people behind through a lack of information, whatever their disabilities. The third feature of Okayama model is a remote sign language translation system using ICTs. I first thought of this after a disaster in Okayama four years ago when some deaf evacuees couldn't get information. The need for such system became even clearer during the pandemic with people wearing masks. The deaf cannot read people's lips. There are also concerns about interpreters next to the speakers not wearing masks. This system makes it possible for deaf people to safely access vital public health information at the same time as hearing people. We put a big screen next to the speaker instead of interpreter. I show live stream of multiple interpreters at a distant location. Live streaming is our field of expertise as a broadcasting company. This system was first introduced at the mayor's press conference in Soja City and was later used in other cities. Aiko Akiyama from SCAP wants to recommend this system the United Nations for use in the Asia Pacific region. To develop it further, we signed a joint research agreement on accessible broadcasting with Keio University. Our first objective is to make weather forecast more accessible using computer-generated animations of sign language. Our goal is to make it possible for every single person with or without disabilities to access all the information we deliver. We strongly believe in reducing the gap of access to information in all regions. Thank you again for the hour. We look forward to joining with you all and creating a world with zero barriers for everyone. Thank you. Arigato.